Hey everyone, welcome to Can of Wormholes, which is this incredible open world snake game. Last episode we did all the random snake puzzles in the red area, and now we're going to voyage to some of the new snake areas if we can find it. So there's a giant snake here, this is the overworld, and basically every snake here was actually an overworld at some point. And we're just looking for a connection. This, this is not connecting. Hmm... Okay, maybe we should wait until we unlock some of the other ships to do that. I think it's hard to link this ship up with this right now. So here's the starting position. We've unlocked World 1, 2, 3, and 4. All the game's pretty non-linear. And I'm going to try to reach this ship. Let's see. Okay, I got the path. Well, because I don't even know if I can get that one. But first, I'll connect the yellow to blue. So I can press X to fast travel and start controlling blue's ship. Then I'm going to go around and connect to this colored ship here. Then I can back out. And yep, we can now connect to this ship because we've connected them on the overworld. Therefore, we can get access to this. Okay, well, let's look, let's see. The dead end of this map is right here. So I'll check this out first. Okay, so back of the ship still doesn't have anything useful, at least at least for what I've, what I've saw, what I've seen so far. Let's just go through this puzzle first. And yes, I restarted just to get a cyan snake. Okay, so now we have these dots. They can increase the snake length. I need to get my snake into this target, but it's completely blocked by fences this way and this way. So I'm probably gonna need to flip into its position or something. Oh, right. This is the another showing of the behavior where because the snake grows by the tail, once I eat this, but because this was blockaded by the fence in the back, it grew upwards instead. And I can even back up to go even higher upwards, but I don't know if that helps. I can even try to possess the snake, but that doesn't seem that useful. I can flip this to this side if I wanted to. So now that other snake isn't at the top portion, but... Okay, so if we use that behavior... Here, flip. We can't flip it there. We're there, but we can flip here. Now, it's it's hard to see what is exactly going on, because this is actually two parts of my snake, one of them below. But if I come back, I'm in the air, of course. Game's 3D now, everyone. Oh, this is the most cursed thing. I Of course you can get on the wall. Of course. Of course. That was the only way. Well, damn. That was... This world is going to have all sorts of standing on the wall, isn't it? <sighs> I wish this was the third world I did. Oh, oh well. Here, okay. Again, you're going to do that trick. <sighs> but I just don't... I'm not yet familiar with it enough with how to set one of these up. It is worth noting, though, that you need one of the fences to be where your tail is blocked at. Because if it's just a regular wall, you just cannot eat the pellet. Special interaction only happens when the back of your tail is pressed up against a fence, not a wall. So, basically, this is probably just like doing this in a more open environment. I probably want the pellet against the wall. But which fence can I do it? Like, that isn't good. So you can see this is the behavior when it's up against the wall. Um, at this point, the other snake is acting as if it was a wall. But I'm simply just unable to eat this. So, when I do this, what needs to happen is that I... Flip the entire snake so this goes into the hole. This goes in the hole. All right, I got it. So I try to focus on what kind of flips I can make. And I saw this flip. I also saw like a flip from here to here, but that seemed way too far. And I think I have the location now. So I'm going to put everything position. And now here is the location where it would be a flip from here to here. So I start from here, eat this, and then back up all my motions. Until I get to here. Wait, I misplaced this. Okay, one over. Then I continue. There we go. Now I back up into here. Connect to that. And then when I press left, this will flip into here. Gah, gah. What is this? Why? Like, how much physics nonsense do we have to do? How about this? Well, there you go. Guess having a length, um, a height of two can't fit through that hole or something. Anyway, it also seems like, by the way, that we are able to rest ourselves kind of safely on the ground layer. But anyway, let's just go here and 
verticalize. I mean, no, we verticalize here. There we go. Wait, no, it's confusing because now there are two meanings of vertical. Anyway, next puzzle. Another snake achieved. Like, the currency in this world is literally a snake now. Alright, next. Put a cutter in here. We need to get there, obviously, over a wall. Hmm. We also need to be four lengths by that time. So we do that, and then what? Try to go hop over this wall and maybe add a connector here? But first, we will, well, we're actually going to need to go on the wall to begin with. What is this, anyway? I like how we don't die there. I mean, we don't die here. Also, we can see the... Our mouse a black hole. Sus. Anyway, can we get on top of... Yes, we can get on top of that. Okay, so then... Hmm. That's how to get on top of that. But then the second segment. What is that about? I guess we use dots. We must use dots to um, make a bridge, huh? That's the only reason for the cutter. Hopefully it's not more than that, because it's going to be harder. Okay, well, we'll probably send this dot as the one that goes all the way to the edge. And then this one goes, like, only halfway through, halfway in between. And it's something like that. I hope that's four enough. Okay, and then we do this process with this. Eat. Flip down into here. Get on top of the snake. And ride over that because wall anti-gravity. I use this as a bridge, and there we go. Nice and simple level. Next one. Next. 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 I want to hear the animation. Anyway. Okay. We are playing as this five length snake. And all that. All. In quotes. That's required is to fill this. Which means that. Because we can't extend the length of any other of the. Immobile snakes. We're going to have to cut this one. By probably going over the top of it. And then just executed the cut like usual you will need to be against the fence but collect this at a good time so i don't know do you push this back with your tail for once i'm not really sure how this is going to work out no arity seems bad to actually get this you notice i can do that which means if i eat the dot here i can actually transfer the dot over here yep ah uh, is that better i don't know Okay, I've gotten to a really good position. Like, I'll just go it. I'll, I got to here, okay? I'll restart just to show how I got here. I drop this down, push this here. I should push it a little farther. Now, aim, whoops, aim my tail here. Then this to the side. Prepare this to the right. And okay, so I wanted to get here because this is like one of the only positions that can allow the tail to go in the air. I do this, and of course, to take advantage of this position, I need to possess a snake, then flip. So now one of them is on the floor. This should be pretty good. Yes, and I'm over the snake. And now hopefully I can just cut it to threes. I can reach it once oh, after I've cut it, right? Um, hmm. Is there a way? There, there must be. There has to be a way where only... Yep, there we go. Okay, so I don't know if that's the intended, but... That just seemed pretty good to me. So there you go. Another mini snake get. Right. <laughs> okay. I check. I'm checking the insight of the small hint level just to make sure that was intended. And uh, oh, well, oh wow, we can get a single ring on its own. But yeah, it's like, yes, I knew that. I knew we were gonna probably do that since like the start of the level okay anyway that hit level is not helping when trying to do the figure out the geometry of how, uh, how you're supposed to set it up but anyway okay next one there you go cyan yeah here we go we're playing as the u we need to make a slightly larger u and we have a single cutter that single cutter will be all the action wait no there's also another cutter right here i think so the main oddity is that this cutter won't do it, so I need to do that to get extra length. And all of a sudden, the stick um, forces that to get stuck, I think. Oh, no, we actually can bring that back out if we wanted to, okay? Which means we can cut that again and again, right? Ow, nope. Hmm, something's wrong there. Well, um, we can also go to vertical. Can't seem to flip from here. Nope, nope, cannot flip from there. Yeah, no, not happening. 
if we push that up, does it fix anything? Because all I want is to flip somewhere useful. These are not useful. It is worth noting that once we're five lengths, we perfectly fit here. So, like, then we just need this piece to go upwards to get both targets. Okay, well, if you move this piece over here, then we go to the floor. For some reason, I had checked this, and then I, for some reason didn't flip upwards. But anyway, we, once we flip up, upwards, we can do that. And we... Ow. <laughs> All right, well, anyway... Don't don't do don't be the ring. We're we want to get on top of the walls, so just go left, and then we can go on these walls, and we should fit exactly in here to push this upwards, and there we go. Then levels over because we have the five and three. Very nice. From that perspective, we are all white. So, oh come on, this is up here. Well, time to switch this man, and there we go. Next puzzle. Playing this big old snake right here. And how many where's I can't even see it very well from here. I can see it better from this perspective. Um but yeah, we need to get past the entire thing, which probably means it's a bridge level. Um, because we're gonna have a hard time getting over this. These are just fences and we can't go on them. Therefore we need to make some sort of bridge to get from here to here. Or our, our stake length needs to be so long we can just get over here to there in a single try. This definitely seems a bit overwhelming. I guess we have this side path. I don't even know when to pick it up. But we do want to kind of look like this. Nope. Because the length is so specific in what needs to happen here. Where it needs to have our tail facing this. And we need to eat one of the pellets. Well, I was trying to make something happen where this was the final pellet, or at least like we had our tail here and the pellet here, but I found that you can do this. I'm not sure if that helps. We can even get a good flip from here, though. Let's try to move this up, maybe. Definitely interesting that we have this opportunity to use one of the edge fences. Ow! Well, that sucked. <laughs> Wait, would, would this have worked if it wasn't cut here? I'll try that. Just flip it to be on the place where the cut is not. I mean, if so, that, that'd be great. These. Flip this down. I should not say flip, but I'm not actually flipping anything. Like, I don't know, there's, there's actually quite a lot of fences around here, so... There we go. Ah, no. Maybe you need a dot to be out of there. That'd be really strange, though. I really thought it was going somewhere. It was just wishful thinking to think that I would have any of the length required. So I really need something more there. The one thing I noticed that's possible is you notice that when you're in the air, there's a slight moment where the snake is, um, the immobile snake is of height too. It's floating over everything. I don't know how to take advantage of that yet, but it's surely going to come to play sometime. I mean, this is not the only, that's not the only place to put your tail thing. I mean, you could go here. That seems worse, though. Another suspicious thing, right, is the the final snake here is a five length. If we need a mega bridge, we're going to have to end it at exactly five. We do that, and, well, that failed. Lol. Something also interesting is when you make this cut, the final piece that ends up is actually not just a dot on a dot. Like, this is a connected piece of a too long snake vertically. What I'm thinking now is probably the whole idea of the puzzle is to do the thing twice. Where one time you go over it and then bring, like, this piece back and then form a bridge. Well, I'm not exactly how sure uh, how you can really do that, considering that this piece in particular is a bit long. But yeah, that's the idea I have. Just get over it twice. All right, so first step, I'll use this one. And I can use that. Like, that didn't work before because it was too long, right? And the thing I want to make here, I think, is a three. I don't know exactly. But just because I thought that... Ugh, we better put a cinnamon jitter. Okay, so the problem is, right, you need to be a five-length snake. So it needs to have a platform that we can somehow uh, ride on, right? So it's like this, and then the snake would go... Like, you hope it goes on here, and then here. You notice it's still on a platform when you do that, and there we go. Problem is trying to do that in-game. I'm not sure I could get that horizontal, but I can do this, though. And then get it out. I am completely fail at doing so. So, like, that's the problem. Like, even if I do cut a three, how is it going to work? So, 
So I've made this cut. This shouldn't be surprising because it's basically symmetrical to what I've already done. Ow. Oh, wait, you can just do this and that to bring it back. Shoot. Um, uh oh. <laughs> Freaking tail. You can do this. Turn back in order to get this. Um, don't ask how it's getting out, though. Okay, I. Getting the piece seems so impossible. It's a weird little nuance where, like, you can't actually get only one of these and back out. I, I'm going to check the game in sight. I'm sure... What is that? What? Oh my gosh! Oh, this was this kind of genre of level? Well, I just got got. This shares similarity with, like, the design topic of... Like, you know that this, this giant area on the left side could have been expanded all the way out? Because if there's a way to basically just swim over this gap... Then the puzzle has been a little misleading by being one off from a simple three and five cut. And by that I mean, you know, the situation I described about moving this with a five length while you have three length here, which seemed just barely attainable, right? So even though I looked at the insight, my real bottleneck, well, it definitely helped, right? But the real thing is, I'm pretty sure I did this move before, and I thought this was useless, because it's like, oh, I didn't want to cut there. Well, I freaking do. I'm pretty sure I do, because this can flip. Ugh, I need to arrange myself better here, and then what, the other way around? So I can then possess it. Oh, why can't I flip this up here? Now, the problem is that, well, the position isn't that great, and I don't know how to get this to this side, but yeah. Oh, wait, never mind, I freaking do. It's over here. It's like the heart. It's not easy to notice, I think, because... These are, these don't make up many pixels on screen. But anyway, you can actually push that entire thing to the left. And that must be it. Oh, uh, maybe I made a mistake with where I put this. So I am a smaller snake, of course, but whatever. Here, and I can redo this situation. <sighs> Move this away for now. Then let's do this. Here, flip it. And now we can control this. Right over everything. Oh, not that. Because you, you really need to practice this little situation here. This maneuver. And we can move it to the side just like that. And now, is it ready? Or do I have to do it again on the other side? Probably like that. There we go. Need to do that, of course. So that your tail is still on top of it. And there we go. <sighs> yeah. That's a good puzzle, to, besides the fact that I obviously got distracted on other ideas that didn't work. Um, but yeah, it's a solid idea for sure. Next one. We got six snakes and five that need to open the door. There we go. So, we got this to see. That's a lot of... <laughs> and we need to be less than that amount. So, like... You probably don't want to overget some. What? A no, no, no. Okay, so the the troll is you eat one of those and you get stuck. That's the whole idea. How do you even deal with that? Especially the fact that you don't like. Yeah, if you have, if you eat two more, you can start going around. Um, hmm. no, but yeah, you also are going to probably want to cut some of them up, um, because. Our snake length that needs to happen at the end is three. So, I mean, the first thing I'm obviously thinking is, how do we potentially get back to the left side? Um, not to the left side, to the bottom side, in case we want to go around. And the second is how we're going to execute a cut in the first place. <laughs> I just got Ouroboros. This is what I just did. Um, oh my gosh! Okay, that is part of the puzzle that you can't eat the pellet because your own tail is blocking the way. Okay. Oh my gosh. I was like, oh, this is just funny, and doesn't, but it doesn't mean anything, right? No, it pushes things. Can you even do anything after this? No, but, I mean, considering how this works, I could probably now cut myself after this. Um, so, okay, this will get me everything out of the way, right? And then, cut. Oh, <laughs> there we go. There it is. Because um, there was a three length, and that perfectly allowed the cut. Okay, wow. Well then. Oh, don't. Colors. There you go. 
So we got a big, big snake. I wonder if we need to start an Ouroboros on a purpose then, but I don't know. Looks like I can move down one, but I'm really wanting to move this upward. And our snake is incredibly long. I guess we can... Ho we hope it just probably start Ouroboros just to cut our snake using this then. I think is the idea. Hmm. Okay, so I can do this, which starts an Ouroboros. There we go. Well, that's not a there we go. I don't think this our snake is long enough to match this target, right? Um, and he, no, it, it just can't be. But still, we want our cut to be very small so that we can fit in and possess this with the right size. Um, like that, all right. Does this work? Flip, un unwanted flip, really. Um, hmm. Flip again. Why? Flip again, please. Please. Okay, hmm. Or actually... I'm just going to push this upwards and then flip it back, I hope. Um, so I feel like the, the shape here has to be something ugly and ultimately allow me to start a flip here. I hope that's possible because the thing I made here doesn't seem like it's designed to work like that. This is really complicated by the fact that you can use your tail here to start moving this dot and then start the Ouroboros elsewhere. Um, I really hope I can make a simple enough shape, but basically I just need to make something where... I can put some kind of wall here and then be able to make the flip from a good position. So here's a shape that seems optimized for being a wall. Oh, oh it's a little too good at being a wall. Okay, here. Lol. We have become ring. You can even move around. What is the point? Anyway. Ow. Hmm. 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 This? I'm still gonna need to like recover this shape. Like right now it's hanging off the edge. I don't really want that at all. Stop overcomplicating things, you idiot. There you freaking go. Alright. <laughs> okay, next. Or switch. There we go. So yeah. Next one seems like a pretty small puzzle here. Controlling that and I want to be a two. Okay. I can Ouroboros soon. I can flip this, not at all. It's also one that you can do this to yourself and make it rely on your body, but that is a state that you can quickly get out of, unlike the Ouroboros. Hmm. So the direction I cause the Ouroboros must be the opposite direction in which I make the tail of it. I still know how it's exactly helpful. This, I mean, this is a three state right now. Um... Hmm. Well, this is me combining the vertical and the Ouroboros idea. Actually, no, no, this has to be relevant, that you can do it while you're inside this, right? You might be able to start an Ouroboros like this. The question is, what does that get me? Oh, uh, duh. Well, it gets you the ability to freaking go in there. <laughs> okay, yep, that's nice. Okay. So, that should be the end, right? No, of course not, all right. Next puzzle, then. I think there's, like, two left. I don't know. Anyway. There's, there's the snake there. We can immediately cause an Ouroboros. Okay, so is that the snake we want? And then we're, like, trying to... Pr uh... We can cut it at the end. So I'm assuming that these need to be kept in some way. Although, we definitely can't keep them. Well, we can't keep them all, maybe. We just, like... Um, decide that, okay, some of them can be like that, and they're all going over the, um, over this bridge and down here. And I think they're just going to go down, 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 down. That's what I'd expect. Let's just try to make this work. Um, so, of course, the shape of this is very irrelevant. I don't know if I can, like, I can't say offset by two. This, this is what I wanted. I don't know why I'm having trouble doing that. Okay, that kind of works, except it's in the wall column. Okay, there we go. Well, that was way easier than I made it. Well, now I have to deal with this. Also, queued up moves. That's a thing as well. Um, okay. This feels like Jelly is sticky now. <laughs> That's another game that where you have to deal with, like, sort of things that are similar to this. Okay, now all of them try to get pushed down. I guess, like, this is the reasonable... Nope. Hmm. Whoops, lingo sound effect. Can we get more down, please? Hope oh, that pushing things down. Okay, okay, fine, fine. There we go. Everything's in a row. All the ducks are in a row now. There we go. Okay. Oh, 
so here we go. No color. There we go. <laughs> so here we are. So there, this is in the way, obviously, and that's the only thing is to get that out of there. So I can Ouroboros it, but I, hmm. looks like that if I want to Ouroboros, I should at least get something in the tail, right? I don't know if I want to extend my length, but I definitely can push this with my tail and then start like, and then prepare this sort of setup, right? This is the kind of thing I want to see. So we have this setup just so that this piece doesn't get pushed to the left. And then we need to make an Ouroboros somehow this way. I'm not completely sure how to do that. And we also, wait, if we can Ouroboros, we have to break it as well. I guess that means that we need, like, once we get our Ouroboros, we need to have centered dots in order to push the final piece in because we can't cut ourselves back into something that makes an easy, easy forward push. Like, all I can just hope this puzzle is trying to be kind, I guess. We need to make a good turnaround to get something in the middle. Hmm. Here. Okay. Then I'll use that piece then. Uh oh. Okay. No, you, you do it this way. It's better. Don't ask me about the others. So. That's the kind. I need more length. I just, let's just add two here. Whoops. Here. I just don't want to test. Okay. One more length. Uh, okay. So if we need one more length, we also want to prepare by pushing everything into the center. Like here, and here, and those will be pushed out at the very end, and then I set my Auroras, go around, and there we go! Pretty easy, come, uh, considering the placement of this, but anyway, should be the control- I guess it freaking isn't. We got more to do. Okay, so that looks like an exclamation point there. Um, hmm. Looks like we need to cut that, right? So, that's the, that behavior again. Although, I'm sure I like it being there. And we can push myself in there again. Okay. The question is, like, did I want any of this to happen? Hmm. I can, I can get, get this back out and up. But I'm not really the length to take advantage of it right now. Oh, but I can cut this back, huh? Okay. So, um, get this up. Can I, can I get recover this, please? Just, just get it there. And then I can recover it later on. Okay. And because I want to cut this and then gain some length, uh, eventually. Hmm. Here. Then I cut this to gain length so I can actually ride on this. So that is like... Hmm, this is in the orbital section. So, even though I'm using this technique, of course, you know, you're kind of like assuming that this is the technique that is being used here. Do that. Nope, tail's not long enough. Didn't I need like a five length tail the last length to do this? Or maybe I just use that as like a way to go in the middle. But, the, but it's not possible for me to actually like use this to consistently. Well, no, I can. Okay, so I can use it because once I gain length, I can start moving this anywhere I want. The issue is that I'm going to need to Ouroboros something so that I can eventually make this cut happen. Which looks like an 8 length Ouroboros, I think. Huh. Not to mention, I'm going to be a rectangle during the Ouroboros, which means that this needs to be in the center. This piece is going to be in the center of an Ouroboros, I think. Um, hmm. So it's like, it's like a rectangle like this. So, I mean, it's definitely reasonable to add one at least, so we can push this over more. Um, help. Okay, as it turns out, pushing this over more needs to be done on, like, good terrain. I mean, at this point, just push it like this. Probably get the bottom one. Okay, I've done this. Nope. One more, maybe? Please tell me it's easy. Yes! Yes! Okay. Thank you for being easy to do that. Uh, and then... Wait, is it gonna be a problem that I put myself in the top row? Please don't say. <sighs> oh no. Let's put myself on the bottom row instead. That should be better. Eat that. Can we start the rectangle now? The, the, no. All I need to do is really move this here, right? And then that'll be a better place to make a rectangle. So I start here and then make it. There we go. Now the top part of me isn't ruined. Hold on. I need to see. Can I escape? 
<laughs> Not really, no. Some invisible force goes and kills you. Alright, so let's get this in. And there we go. We are truly the Ouroboros. Okay, next level. Go. Big snake, okay. That's a big snake. But it looks like every part of this is good, except for this, so... Our final Ouroboros is going to lead in there, if this is any, uh, if this structure means anything. Hmm. Let's see. And this, how does this enclose and move everything properly? That seems really hard. You can't usually move that over a wall easily at all. Um, hmm. No, <laughs> okay, there is one way. Okay, I've just, like, re-clicked into the window, but the one way is that we flip over to the other side... So make this giant hole and then flip over to the other side after having eaten all of these pieces, right? The only thing is that I don't know how I can create a flip as an Ouroboros. The oh. <laughs> Why is there a freaking platform there that I didn't even see? Okay, let's try and fail to get this to work. Like, what seems to me is happening is at least this is moved here, because why else would the random walls be there? And then this was moved up, and here, and here. This is the most I can think I can do without losing my mind. And realistically, I'm still going to lose my mind, because, like, that is nowhere near connecting. We don't have the length. Ah, okay, so you probably don't need me to tell you this, but the need to have a dot in order to start an Ouroboros is why we need to get this all in one shot. And actually, you know what? That probably means that we are fitting everything in the middle of... No. In the middle of here, right? Because that's the only way that's good. Okay, is this awkward pushing enough? I do this, and then I intentionally set myself to get blocked by the... This is not going to be soon enough. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Okay, how about everything one to the left? Looks good to me. And now I go in using the one thing that I can't do, which is... Oh my! Are you kidding me? Oh right, because I I ate it early, right? Ugh. What? There's no way, like, if you need to do it here, there's no way to avoid the situation where the, the thing is in the way as you start from here. Unless the back of your tail is blocked at all times, which looks impossible. Well, the only other way to take care of this problem is by flipping it, right? If I can find out how to do that effectively. Alright, I got the super set up. We want to flip here, except we have this problem, but that's very easy to solve, I think. The annoying part will be going around a little bit, but that should be simple too. I'm just going to make this big thing at this over here. Now, I actually don't want it to be like that. I want some part of it to be hanging off the edge a little bit, I think. Just like that. Just so that we have some open space when we flip. Yes! Yeah! Okay, okay. Now watch me get trolled if this is, like, gonna make me fall. Nope, it's perfect. Everything is perfectly designed. And there we go. No. <laughs> uh, other side, please. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why? Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. Those go in, and then we just... This is so ridiculous. This tower that we just made. Um, anti-tower. I don't know. Anyway. Here here we are. Okay, that was... That was one level. Final level, I think. Yep. Crystal Land. Apparently that's what this was. And, okay, next up, we're going to be doing, well, one of these worlds, either this one or this one, or maybe figure out the overworld trick in this world. Uh, see you then, then next time. Bye!